Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. I'm so glad to have you here with me today. I truly appreciate your presence here. I appreciate your support, your prayers, and your dedication to growing in God's word. If you are joining us for the first time, welcome. I pray today's message brings clarity, transformation, and a deeper understanding of what God has planned for your life. You are in the right place. God bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Today, I have a specific word to share. I'm going to give some details about what God showed me, and this will help you to know if this word is for you or not. God showed me someone who is about to step into something significant, something that feels like a milestone, a huge achievement. I saw plans being made, preparations being finalized, and excitement building around us. But then I saw something deeper. I saw that the milestone or achievement, though exciting and seemingly full of promise, felt rushed. I felt an unsettling in my spirit because something critical was being overlooked. I saw a deep, fresh wound in this person's life and this is what god told me a complete healing needs to happen before stepping into the achievement if this healing is not allowed to happen before stepping into the achievement it would lead to deep irreparable damage and loss in the future those were the exact words i heard God said a complete healing needs to happen before stepping into the achievement. If this healing is not allowed to happen before stepping into a, the achievement, it will lead to deep irreparable damage and loss in the future. This means if you move forward without addressing the issue, what seems like a breakthrough now could turn into a setback later on. For the person this is for, God is calling you to step back, to take a moment and allow him to do a deep work in your life. He's saying, don't allow the excitement of the moment to cloud your judgment. Don't let the pressure of what people expect from you cause you to skip over the healing process I want to take you through. Don't let the fear of what people will say lead you to make a hasty decision. The truth is, some things take time. And though it may seem like you are losing time or losing momentum by pausing, God is assuring you that the healing he brings will make you stronger, wiser, and more equipped to handle the achievement when you step into it. I believe this isn't just about physical healing. It could be emotional. It could be spiritual, relational, or in another area. But whatever it is, it is significant. There is something in your life that needs to be addressed. A place where wounds have festered, where old hearts have lingered. God wants to touch those areas. And he wants to restore you fully before you step into your next season. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for God to bring about that complete healing, that complete deliverance in your life, to restore what has been broken and to prepare you for what is ahead. But on your part, you need to pause for reflection. Take time to seriously evaluate your current situation. Ask yourself, am I truly ready for this step? Sometimes the excitement of stepping into something big can cause you to overlook necessary preparations. Reflect on the areas of your life that may not be fully aligned with God's will or God's timing. It is not just about healing. It is about being fully prepared emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and even practically. God sees you. He wants you to seek for wisdom and clarity. This is not about waiting for healing. It's about asking God for wisdom in making decisions. I see that you need clarity. You need discernment and the right perspective to see things the way God sees them. 
Don't make decisions based solely on what seems good. Take time to pray for God's direction. He will reveal aspects of your plan that needs adjustment. Praise God. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I lift up your children before you today, Lord. You see the deep places in their hearts that need you that need your touch, the situation in their lives that needs to be addressed before they step into the next season, before they move into the doors you've prepared for them. Father, I thank you because you are a God of perfect timing. You do not rush your people and you do not leave things incomplete. You see every detail and you know the plans you have for each of us. So right now, I ask, Lord, that you begin to move in those areas of their lives that require your attention, that require your intervention. Lord, if there is any area in their lives where adjustments need to be made, where something needs to be realigned, I ask that you bring clarity and revelation. Open their eyes, Lord, to see the things that they may not have noticed, the things that may be holding them back from fully working in what you have called them to in the name of Jesus. Whether it is in their decisions, whether it is in their relationships, or even in their own readiness, Lord, show Show them that what needs to be done needs to be done in the name of Jesus. Show them what needs to be worked on. I pray for discernment in the name of Jesus that they will understand the steps they need to take. Father, I ask for your peace to set you on them as they pause to reflect and to prepare. Let there be no fear. Let there be no anxiety about the timing. Let there be no pressure by the expectations of others, even their own desires. I ask that you remind them that your timing is perfect and you make all things beautiful in their season. Father, give them the patience to wait, to trust your process and to know that this period of waiting is not a delay, is not a waste, but a preparation for something greater. Lord, I pray for wisdom. Your word says that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask and you give it freely. So I ask for your wisdom to fall upon them now in the name of Jesus. Father, help them make decisions that are aligned with your will. Show them what they need to prioritize, what they need to adjust, and what they need to let go of, especially in this season. Let your wisdom guide them in every area so that when they step into their next season, they do so with confidence, knowing that they are fully prepared in the name of Jesus. Father, if there are practical steps they need to take, whether it is organizing their plans, preparing their resources, or even working on their own personal growth, I pray that you give them the diligence and the discipline to do so. Let them not rush or skip over the necessary preparation, but rather let them embrace the process as part of the journey. Strengthen their hands for the work they need to do and guide their steps, Father, so that everything they do is aligned properly aligned with your plan and with your will for their lives. Lord, I also ask for spiritual strength and fortification as they wait on you, as they prepare, build their faith. Let this be a season where they grow deeper in their relationship with you. Father, teach them how to rely on you completely, how to hear your voice clearly and how to follow your leading without hesitation in the name of Jesus. Let them be sensitive to your spirit and let them grow in the knowledge of who you are so that when they move forward they do so in the full power of your presence father i pray for a release of your provision and of your grace in every area that they need it if there are resources if there are connections or support that they need i ask that you provide abundantly you are jehovah jireh our provider and i trust that you will meet every need as they follow your direction. Let their faith rise as they trust in you to provide exactly what they need at the right time in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray 
that when the time comes for them to step into this new season, into the new phase of their life, they will do so with confidence, with strength, and with your peace. I declare that they will move in the name of Jesus in your will. They will not move forward in fear. They will not move forward in doubt or uncertainty. Let the assurance that you have gone ahead of them be for them in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray every door that needs to be open for them. Let let it open wide. Let it swing open right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak your blessings and your favor over their lives as they move forward in your perfect timing. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you for the work you are doing in their hearts, in their lives, and in their situations right now. Lord, we trust you completely and we surrender to your process today. For we know that you will bring everything together in your time. In Jesus precious and mighty name we have prayed amen i love you and i'm praying for you god bless you